I'm Corey Ashton with the Events Calendar. Wouldn't it be great to set up automatic messages based on your attendees' actions inside of your WordPress website? For example, what if you were able to send out a message as soon as they purchased a ticket, or checked into the event, or even RSVP? I'm going to show you right now how to set up triggered messages inside of Promoter. You'll come to your Promoter login screen. Go ahead and log in. And once you find the event that you would like to apply a message to, you go ahead and just choose the event and click Schedule a Message. This is the standard screen that you're used to here. You've got regular message and you have triggered messages. Let's go ahead and go into triggered messages. And in just these short four fields, we can set up a triggered message. This first field allows us to place a title for our own internal reference. This will not be seen by your audience. Next, we're gonna select what trigger action actually sends this message. Is it when somebody purchases a ticket? Is it when they register as going to the event through an RSVP? Perhaps it's when they register that they're unable to attend or upon the event check-in. For this particular message, I'm gonna choose upon event check-in. Now that we've assigned the triggered message, Promoter will automatically assign the audience accordingly. And then the fourth option here is actually what the message will say itself. You can select a content shortcut if you'd like, using one here for event details that fills in the event details dynamically. Maybe you want a follow-up message, or you can always use the blank message and build out your own. If you'd like to send a test to yourself, you can do that easily by clicking Send Test. That'll go to the email that you're registered with. If you'd like to go ahead and activate the trigger, go ahead and click Activate Trigger. Now when you visit your event here inside of Promoter, you'll see the message that you've just created, and you'll see this green column that says Trigger Active. Another cool feature is just to make that trigger inactive. Maybe you want to use that later. You can go back into the message itself, scroll down toward the bottom, and go ahead and click Deactivate Trigger. You'll notice now that it's inactive, but it's still here available for your reference at any time that you'd like to reactivate that trigger. Hey y'all, I hope that helped you getting started with triggered messages inside of Promoter. I'm gonna put a link below to our knowledge base. You can find all sorts of really great articles to help you go even further with our full suite of products. You'll also wanna take note of one other thing. These messages that you're setting up inside of Promoter, do not take the place of any other notification that might be going out, like if you're using event tickets or any other notification platform. These triggered messages are in addition to. So keep that in mind as you're communicating with all of your attendees. All right, we'll see you next time. Bye, everyone.